The second manga I'm going to be talking about is Real. Once again, another work by the GOAT, Takahiko Inoue. Like I said, he has worked in multiple manga and this is just another one of his masterpieces. Honestly, some people prefer this to Bargabond. I generally, personally prefer Bargabond to this, but both of them are masterpieces and some of the characters in Real are much better than some of the characters in Bargabond, but all around, all of them are amazing. And this is just another completely different piece of work that honestly has some similar things, but also some different things, but both are great at what they focus on. Ryo follows three main characters, Nomiya, Takahashi and Togawa. All of them amazing characters I have to say, especially Vince the goat. Of course they all play a main part in the story and one way or another they all link together. It is technically a basketball manga but the main theme of the story is not so much basketball and more about life and growth as a person, like all three of the characters just want to grow from what they are. They all inadvertently want to change as a person. And it's honestly just beautiful seeing them get to that stage because although it is ironic, real is very real. The way people change honestly just feels so natural. The things that happens to them feel so real and honestly like I could very well imagine these people in real life. Another factor that for me plays a key role in the likeness of the characters is the age group. Like all three main characters are around the same age as me and some of the struggles they go through like they are very relatable and honestly this helps build them up as real characters and flesh them out. It honestly makes the story much better and is one of the main strengths of real, building strong characters that you can honestly empathise with. It does this through the story that is very fluent and progressive, like major character events are presented in like for example a basketball match or a flashback which have so much feeling behind them because they're very well crafted and built it up on. And the thing is, two of the main characters are disabled or become disabled. We do see who they are before their disability and how the disability changes their life completely. And it honestly just feels very real even though I don't really have a disability. I can genuinely see real people suffer through these mental struggles. But anyway, enough of me talking why real is so real. Let's talk about the art style, which we can't obviously avoid when we're talking about Inoue. Like I said in Vagabond, this guy can genuinely, I don't know, he can craft something I've never seen in my life. This guy basically makes paintings. I do think the art of real is a bit weaker than Vagabond's, because I mean, I think Vagabond is the peak of Inoue. But still, in my opinion, the color pages of real are much better. And the overall art style still does the job very excessively compared to other mangas. Like, look at the panel behind me, it's honestly one of my favourite panels in all of manga. The flashback of the GOAT, the best MC Vince, aka Togawa, as he legit finds he's not alone in the world and finds there are other people with his disability, genuinely honestly made me feel emotions that not many mangas can honestly do to you, and one of the main reasons why I like Ryo is genuinely just this character alone. Another strength behind Ryo is the fact that it's only 90 chapters, man, like, you could read this in a few hours. Bargwon is 300, but it still does so much in these 90 chapters. And not even that, by chapter 60, you get one of the, like one of the best moments in all of manga. Ino manages to craft a big ass story, a very good one in such a short amount of time. It's genuinely very impressive. But look, you may honestly enjoy real more than Vagabond. It is more relatable than Vagabond, shorter, and that's things that Vagabond just doesn't. I mean, the main issue with Vagabond hiatus is not an issue for real, which came back just two years ago, man, after a, like, two, three year hiatus. And then it's getting very frequent chapters, you know, like, it's getting more chapters than Berserk, which is kind of mad, because this guy hasn't posted a chapter in so long. And honestly, I'm happy for him. But yeah, to summarize, real has some of the most relatable characters in manga, one of the most natural stories, and honestly, you should also give it a go. It's only 90 chapters and it is still ongoing. So a reminder for everyone, read real. Better do it next year or this year because trust me, you'll enjoy it a lot and you won't regret it.